After a 60% reduction, a jacket sold for $20. What was the jacket's price before the reduction? So in step one, we'll let x equal the unknown quantity. Well, the unknown quantity in this case is the original price of the jacket before the reduction. So we'll let x equal the original price of the jacket. Now normally in step two, we write any other unknown quantities in terms of x. We don't have any other unknown quantities in this case, so we'll just skip step two. In step three, we write an equation. Well, in this case, let's start with the original price of the jacket, x. And let's subtract the discounted amount. Remember, there was a 60% reduction, so we're really subtracting 0 0.60 times x. That's really 60% of x, the original price. And that's equal to the price after the reduction of $20. So. In step three, the x represents the original price. 0.60x really represents the reduction. And $20 represents the price after reduction. Now we can solve this problem in step four. Well, on the left-hand side, we have like terms. We have x minus 0.60x. Remember, this x really has a coefficient of 1. Or I could even write 1.0, and I could subtract 0.60 from that, and I'll get a total of 0.40x is equal to 20. If I divide both sides by 0.40, I get that x is equal to 50. So I'm ready to state the answer. The original price before reduction was $50. Let's check this in step five. If the original price was $50, I can start with the $50 and I can subtract the 60% reduction. So 0 0.60 times 50, and I should get the price after reduction of 20. Let's check to see if that's true. 50 minus 0 0.60 times 50 is just 30, and that does equal 20, so our answer checks.